Tim Spector here, the Zoe Symptom Study app, giving the week's update. And it's great news because we hit earlier this week the lowest point we've recorded since we started our records. Really low levels of uh, in new COVID. And the levels are so low that we're actually having to change our methods of, of calculating it from now on so we can give you the more accurate data. And this is really meaning that we're moving from the era of a pandemic to an endemic where we'll see uh, levels that are uh, much lower with occasional outbreaks. And I think that's what we need to be focusing on. Now, at the same time as uh, levels uh, keep reducing down to this very low plateau, uh, we've seen uh, death rates down in single figures, which is good and no great strain on the NHS, also uh, really good. And this is all despite the return outdoors to pubs and restaurants and loosening up of all the lockdown uh, restrictions across the UK. So this bodes well for further relaxation of uh, the uh, rules as we go forward. And no sign that that's gonna be dangerous. Um, now, again, I like to put these in comparison. Our rates are still amongst the lowest in the world, and we see various countries struggling, recovering, getting worse, uh, like India, uh, all with their own variants, all their own problems. But uh, it's important to keep that in context. Now, um, we've got over 50% of the our population vaccinated, and that means that we have to look at the data in a new way. And so rather than give you the overall rates of your risks, we're telling you based on our data, the risks, uh, if you haven't been vaccinated, uh, which are currently about one in 45,000. Again, that varies about fivefold, um, depending on where you live. Lowest currently still the southwest, highest in the north of England. And your risk if you've had at least 12 days after your first vaccination is about one in 100,000. And if you've recently had your second vaccination, that drops even further to about one in 150,000 in our data set. So that's starting to look much more reassuring. Now, you can still obviously still get infected after a vaccine uh, as happens. And in the last week, we did have um, 31 people who had a positive test after their second vaccine and around 87 after their first dose. They may not have left it time to get pulled up the full, the full immunity, which does increase with time, but just tells you to be aware uh, and watch out for those symptoms, which can be different and milder. And we're, we're working on this to work out what signs to look out for. But when in doubt, do get a test. Uh, it's it's not a black and white affair that you're totally protected. You are still at small risk of mild disease. Um, our paper on vaccines, particularly the side effects and efficacy, uh, was published this week and has a link to it in the Lancet's Infectious Diseases. And I think a lot of people are looking at this around the world as they're trying to work out the benefits and risks of the different types of vaccines. And in our data, we, we are still continuing to look at it as it comes in. And we now have over a million of your reports. And it's showing us things like if you've previously had COVID and are worried about uh, having a bad effect of the vaccine, it turns out that the older you are, the less of an effect that is, and the younger you are, the greater uh, that risk. And so that's uh, useful insight. So the people are gonna uh, suffer most or are actually least likely to get it, uh, the most vulnerable. Don't need to worry as much. Um, we've also entering this new phase um, and we need to be vigilant about outbreaks. So that's reason to keep logging for us and uh, as rates go really low, we do need to see what's happening in, in small areas so we can 
uh, alert people. So um, thanks for watching um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to, so we can give you updates and keep you abreast of all the latest studies. And you can also help us with our research at King's Health Partners by donating either on the app or going to the link in here as we try and work out what all the long-term effects of either mild infections or severe infections are on all of us going forward and how it might affect things like aging. So thanks for your attention. Thanks again for your support. Keep logging. Stay safe.